excuse me? Hello. <laughs> so today, as you can probably tell by the title, we are going to London and I'm going to try and make it to as many kind of independent bookstores in London as I can. I mean, I realised that it really has been years since I've shopped in a lot of independent bookstores. I tend to shop in uh, second-hand independent bookstores, but not full-price independent bookstores. And I just felt like if we can afford to do it monetarily, we should stop buying our books from Amazon and just go to some independent bookstores. So this is my Christmas present from Tom, and we're going to be going to two of my favourite restaurants as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to take you along with me and I'm going to try and buy a book at every independent shop we go to but like I'm only going to get one if I want one I'm not going to just like spend money if there's no book that I'm like super desperate for so we're going to try and find a book I want at every independent bookshop we go to and we're going to try and get around to as many as we can without further ado let's just get into the video because I'm sure we don't care about this we're not in London let's go to London okay bye <laughs> our first bookstore and this was the first ever and still only LGBT bookstore in the UK and when I asked on Twitter which independent bookstores in London I should go to this is the one that everyone said so I'm here <laughs> Gaze the World was filled with so many amazing books and it had such great variety. It had young adult, more literary fiction, poetry, graphic novels and so much more. There were so many books from my wish list in there that it was really, really tough to choose which one to buy. <laughs> So I picked up The Prince and the Dressmaker, which is a graphic novel. I've heard so many people talk about this and uh, I may be doing a graphic novel video soon in the new year. <laughs> so yeah, I was really happy that I found this because I was worried I wouldn't find books like this that I wanted. So I'm very happy. So next we're at Scoob Books, which is the sign. Go to the sign over there. Yeah, lovely. Well, it just uh, says oh. <laughs> books. That's why it's called Scoob. It's books. Let's look. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Dead ass. That's oh intelligent. Goodness. I just thought it was Scoob for Scooby Doo. I'm disappointed. Yeah, which is a second hand bookstore, so we're going to see if we can get any steals. Scoob Books had literally every genre and type of book you could possibly think of history, philosophy, politics, spirituality, travel, and then just normal fiction as well. It had literally everything. Uh, they had these great penguin classics with the original orange covers. I just want to take the whole bookshelf home, but alas, I couldn't. <laughs> it just felt like a complete treasure trove of books that you could just spend hours getting lost in. So if you're in the area, it's just by around the corner from Gaze the Word, then I would definitely check it out. My book. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? So, we just went in there and I got um, Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell, which is kind of an account of him being really poor in Paris and London and also like the experiences of other people he witnessed there. Um, and I've been wanting to read more George Orwell for like forever. I've only read Animal Farm and 1984, so I thought that another one of his I should pick up. And then Tom picked up a book. Do you want to tell them about it? A history of Anglo Soviet relations. That took me a second. <laughs> it's just basically, uh, yeah, it's really boring. It's, <laughs> it's boring. Nothing. It's just for uni stuff, like uh, <laughs> about trade deals and negotiating, going from enemies in the Russian Civil War to being friends. Well, friends loosely. Cool. Okay, I don't know where we're going next, so we've got to decide. Okay, bye. <laughs> 
Football Tom. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna zoom for the for the, for the squad. <laughs> wow. Now your face is enormous. You <laughs> need to do your thumb now. Can't wait. She's loving it. So now we're at the Persephone Bookshop, which uh, reprints neglected fiction and non-fiction from 20th century women authors so that we can read books which we otherwise wouldn't have been able to read. So hopefully I will find a hidden gem. Persephone Books was probably my favourite store I visited just because the atmosphere in there was so lovely and cosy. I loved all the matching editions and it just felt like such a welcoming environment. They had some really great and helpful descriptions underneath each book so you could just quickly tell what they were about and I just love the idea of what they're doing there. That was, wasn't that your favourite one we've been in so far? Would you agree? Thomas? Yeah, it, was pretty it was pretty cool. Um, I like the colour choice. Yeah, I really like, I'll show you one of the covers. So the, most of them are like this. So this one I got, I think is about a woman who's in prison during the suffragette movement, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure, and it sounds really interesting. So it's they have- It details the, uh, like the life of what living in a- Women's well, prison, women's prison must back be then, yeah. I'll change and the colour just so I can see it a bit clearer. Okay, and so then most of the editions are like this square on the outside, and then they all have like a printed inside, like this. Ta da! Cool. And then come back up to me. <laughs> and then the other one I got was uh, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day, which Tom picked out really. You really, you really wanted to get one, but it sounds super interesting. Um, and I think it's basically about how her life is really similar, right? Until like this one day, which the book is the whole day. Like a nanny or something. Oh, she, you know more about the book than and I do. Then she, uh, and then she becomes like a, like a carer for some geezer who like runs a nightclub or something. And she just has a really fun life and stuff. Oh, so she lives it up. She in goes one day. in one day, she starts to live it up. Okay, cool. So they were my choices for that. I think if you're in London, you should definitely pop into this one because I think it's really like a really unique bookshop, I think. So we've just stopped to film in front of this, which looks so pretty. Is, that, is it like an advent calendar type of thing? Um, and it looks so cute. Right, we were next door. At, um, oh. <laughs> we were next door uh, at Hatchards, which is the oldest bookshop in London. So uh, I was so excited to go to it. And then you walk in, and it's basically just a Waterstones because <laughs> they're owned by Waterstones now. And so it kind of felt a bit disappointing. It felt like the whole point of this was to go to independent bookstores that are a bit different. And it just felt like the same old, same old, other than the floors being a bit old. <laughs> so um, yeah, I didn't buy anything in there and we were kind of a little bit disappointed. But now we're gonna go, oh. Don't be rude. Are you kidding me? I swear to God. But now we're going to go to Gosh Comics, so um, hopefully that will be more successful, so we'll see you there. So now we're at Gosh Comics, where they do graphic novels, manga, zines, and as evidenced by my earlier purchase, I want to get more into graphic novels, so hopefully I can find a really good one here. I already have one in mind that I almost bought at the first shop, so we shall see. So in Gosh Comics there was literally everything you could possibly imagine would be there. It was really really incredible and it gave me so many ideas for things I want to get in the future. There's so many things I want to add to my wish list now because of it. And look at these Naruto editions! I'm only like 20 episodes in. <laughs> but um, yeah they still look really cool and part of me 
the capitalist hoe in me still wants them so yeah but it was really really an amazing shop and so unique <laughs> Okay, I picked up Laura Jean keeps breaking up with me, which I almost got against the word, but I thought I reckon Gosh will have it, so I'll wait. So um, yeah, I've heard really great things about this, particularly from Ariel Bissett, has read it. Particularly from Ariel Bissett, who um, read it during the reading rush and said she really enjoyed it, and I really like the like art design in it so one thing i really like about this is the use of just pink black and white and like gray and i think it's really unique so i think it's a really beautiful graphic novel so i'm really excited to give it a read so that was our pick for gosh comics oh hey so now we're at daunt books which may be the last one of the night i don't know if we're going to fit any more in but i've always wanted to come here i've seen so many of the events they've done um like on twitter and stuff and i've always thought ah I just wish I was there, but now I am. So I'm excited to go in. I've heard someone told me on Twitter that their books are like arranged by um, location, like destination, like, uh, do you know what I mean? Like where the book is set, they're arranged in that way in part of the room. So I'm excited to go and explore that. And yeah, let's go have a look. Although I didn't end up buying anything in Daunt Books just because there was nothing really that grabbed my attention, uh, it felt like such a magical place, particularly in that big hall uh, as you enter to the right. It was really, really just amazing and I don't think camera really uh, captured it as well as, as it came across in person. It was just amazing. So. It's definitely one of the most atmospheric uh, bookstores that I've been in recently, so if that's what you're looking for, I would really go check it out. And then we just wandered around London for a little bit and finished the night off at my favourite restaurant, Nobu. And I haven't been there for like five years, so it was really great to visit again. Hello. So I'm sitting here to try out the fact that my bed isn't made <laughs> because I don't want to move them. I don't want to move you. I don't want to move you. Yeah, I thought I would just recap really quickly what I picked up. So at Gaze the Word, I picked up The Prince and the Dressmaker, which is a graphic novel. So I think this is essentially about a prince and a dressmaker. <laughs> I, I do, I'm not speaking from experience, I, this is only hearsay, but yes. But isn't it, uh, doesn't he want to wear dresses, isn't it? The prince wants to wear dresses? Am I right? I think I'm right. So the artwork in it looks so cute, don't you think? I just can't wait to read it. I'm really, really excited to give this a read. When I saw it in there, I was like, yeah. Okay, we're getting that. <laughs> so next is Scoob Books. I got Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell. Uh, I just... Oh my god, what are you doing? I always want to read more George Orwell, as I said, I think, in the clip. And yeah, I just don't feel like I read enough of his stuff. So um, when I saw this, I just thought I'd pick it up. It's nice and short. And like, it was a secondhand bookstore and still in very good condition. So Goodreads says, this unusual fictional memoir, in good part autobiographical, narrates without self-pity and often with humour the adventures of a penniless British writer among the down and outs of two great cities. It's essentially about going in, like living in lodging houses and, and seeing the people who live on the streets while you're really poor. And I think it's just like a look at poverty. It's not one I've heard people talk about loads, so I'm excited to pick it up and see what I make of it. And it's short, so I feel like it's quite accessible. So then next we went into Persephone Books, which I have to say I think was my favorite bookstore out of all of them. I really, really loved it in there. I thought just the vibes in there, they had music playing, like incense on, and I just love the design of all of their books. Um, and I just love the idea of it. So if you are in London, I would really, and you can only go to one bookstore, 
I think that this is a really unique bookstore. You're not really going to find anything like it uh, wherever you're from. So I really, really recommend going to this one. So I got two here because I kind of felt like other bookstores, I can just get those books another time. But these books are like so unique to this location. So I thought I'd get two two. The first one I got was the one that's like typically in their style, this kind of grey cover, um, and that is No Surrender by Constance Maud. Uh, all the Goodreads tells me is that No Surrender describes minor aristocrats and mill girls as they struggle together as part of the suffrage movement, which is really interesting. It's only got 126 ratings on Goodreads, so like barely anyone has read this. So I don't know, I'm just super excited to pick it up. It sounds super super interesting the little blurb they've got sounds so interesting and i love how for all of the books they all have these like different designs on the inside and you can buy like sorry i've got two bookmarks here <laughs> you can buy the bookmark that matches that so i think that's just a nice touch they've got going on and then the next one i picked up was miss pettigrew lives for a day by winifred watson a good research for this one miss pettigrew an approaching middle-aged governess was accustomed to a household of unruly english children when her employment agency sends her to the wrong address her life takes an unexpected turn the alluring nightclub singer De Lisa Lafosse becomes her new employer and Miss Pettigrew encounters a kind of glamour she had only met before at the movies. Over the course of a single day, both women are changed forever. Now this is one that Tom really wanted me to get. <laughs> he was like, I think it sounds so interesting, you know, how it only happens over one day. I think it will be, I think it'll be such a fun, you know, such a fun idea. So I mainly got this because he really liked the sound of it and he was being so supportive that I was like okay and he's buying them for me anyway so <laughs> but yeah it's really short I think it's only just over it's like 230 pages but it has got some illustrations not loads but it's just got some pages where there's like these little line drawing illustrations and then the last book I got was Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me which is another graphic novel again oh my god i love the artwork of this one how it's all just black gray white and like the like peachy pink salmon color i just love it i just love the design of this one um so this is i believe about a girl who is dating laura dean and laura dean is kind of like a really really bad girlfriend quite manipulative and it's just a really bad relationship i think so um yeah i just i'm excited to read it and it just, it's everyone I've heard has given it really, really great reviews. So I just felt like it was something that I had to pick up. So yeah. If you had told me when I went out that I'd only be buying classics. Oh, I'd only be buying classics and graphic novels. I would not have believed you because I've never read a graphic novel and I barely read classics. So I thought I'd be coming with a fantasy, you know. But I ended up getting kind of books which I wouldn't otherwise have got if that makes sense which for me is really great you know like the books that you're gonna get you're gonna get and I feel like with something like this it's fun to kind of go and discover some other books so I'm very happy with my haul <laughs> um and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video it was a really really great day I had a lot of fun and yeah it was really really great to go to all of these bookstores and the ones of course I didn't buy stuff at were still really great to visit so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've all had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and you're having a brilliant rest of your holiday season, wherever you are. Um, tell me how it's going down below because like I've said before, I know the holidays can be both a brilliant time and a difficult time for people. So let me know how it's going for you and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.